and we can get a nice little secret Santa thing going for the Apshi community. I've wanted to do this for a few years now, and the it was just a matter of logistics. Do you know what I mean? And that's when I came up with the idea for the app. I'm like, yeah, well, app sheet, you know, we can make an app for the logistics. It'd just be, and we're done. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. If you would like to participate in the 2022 AppSheet Community Secret Santa campaign, there's a link down in the description. There's a link right there. Click it. Enter your information. The submission deadline to get your information in and to be a participant in this year's activity is Saturday, December 17th at noon. After that, I'll engage the matching process, which I'll explain how all that works in the later parts of this video. You'll be matched with somebody and get an email with all of their details. From there, go out, purchase a gift, ship it. Happy holidays. If you would like to run your own Secret Santa campaign, there is a link down in the description where you can make a copy of the app that I'm using to run this year's. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna go over some of the basics about how this app works, how it's all put together, and how you can use it to run your own Secret Santa campaign wherever you're at. All right, thanks for watching. Let's get to the video. A lot of places that like to do secret santa so i made an app to run all of that right so what does that mean that like what, what are we really talking about well we're talking about like a, a uh, basically a simple data collection place where people can throw their name and maybe some gift ideas or whatever and then at some point when everything's ready to go like push a button and it matches everybody up sends an email to those people with the information for the person that they've been matched with and we're good to go. Um, if I go through the app really, really fast here, just kind of showing you the initial bits. Uh, so when somebody first shows up to the app, right? Uh, this is what they land on is this, you know, this landing page, whatever. Uh, and there's this tab, uh, open activity. You come in here, there's some details in here about like, What's the deadline for when you can submit your information? Uh, when do you want to deliver things? Um, any kind of gift guidelines and any kind of like actual gift ideas. And then a list of everybody that's involved. Like anybody who's already signed up. And to add yourself to the list, you just click the button, put in your name, put in your email. Do you want your email visible to other people or not? Put in your street address, city, state, zip, all this. I have a nice little address privacy notice. Uh, and then at the bottom of this submission form, there's a space for them to upload their photo and give any kind of gift ideas that they would like to, to add. Uh, and then that's all that's available for anybody that's not the person running the, the campaign. Uh, there's two modes for this app. There is, if you go to settings up here, there's a participant mode, which is what it starts in. And then there's a facilitator mode. And this is, you know, the person that's going to be running this. And what I've done, if you go to the link for the 2022 AppSheet community uh, Secret Santa thing, you'll notice if you go to the settings, there's not, this option isn't there. It's because I've hidden that because I've already done all of the facilitator stuff and nobody's supposed to be going in there right so this is available at the very beginning you can go in here and what this does is it turns the app into facilitator mode so that you can go through and set up your thing that you're trying to run uh, i have a little onboarding page here that'll walk you through some various bits about what's really going on um, but really everything's kind of all up here um, and so uh, there's this open activity and you can see for the part for the facilitator of the activity there's a few more options that are available they can still add information and this stays available for the whole time that the um, activity is marked as open and ready right so that you see this little ready status here this is available here the idea being the facilitator might need the ability to like add somebody to the mix if they don't they can't get access to the app or whatever. So that's the whole idea. Um, you've got the ability to complete the activity um, and you have a the, the test email. Um, so the complete activity, you know, you, you wouldn't want to do that right now. 
Um, so there's only one person in the mix, but if I show you, if I add someone else, someone else, right? And I do like email at email.com. Yeah, um, and then if I just kind of put some gibberish in here, just so we can get through and save the record. All right, so I'm in, uh, I'm in facilitator mode for this app. And now that there's more than one person inside the app, we have the ability to match people up, right? Cause you need two people in order to match people up, right? Two or more. So as soon as two people are present inside the system, this purple match, um, match people button comes up and then you can press this. And what happens when you do that is it runs through and little preamble before this, when people first submit their information, they're assigned a random number between like one and I don't know, 999, 999, I just a whole bunch of nines. So they're assigned this really big number, right? So, okay. That happens when they create their entry into the system. And so then when you press this match people thing, all the system's doing is it's saying, cool, sort that table based on all of those numbers. And then give those numbers, put them in order as in, so we're not using these crazy big numbers anymore. We're using like one, two, three, four, five. And then based on those numbers match whatever record I am with the next person in line. So they were all randomized to begin with because I assigned them all a whole bunch of random numbers. And then I put those random numbers in order. And so then I'm just saying, cool. All right. Now that everybody's in this randomly assigned order, take, whatever this record is and assign it to the next one. And then for the bottom one, assign it to the first one done. And then, so when you push this, it does that sort of matching system. It then runs through and sends an email to everybody with that person's in uh, shipping information, their address and all that, whatever, any of the gift submit gift ideas that they put out and you're good to go. So this sample app is available on my profile. You can go over there and make a copy of it so that you can run your own campaign. You can actually run multiples of this if you would like. Um, and uh, if you would like to participate in a 2022 app sheet community secret Santa activity that I'm going to run this year using this app, there's a link in the description where you can go and fill out your details and participate. Happy days. US only, you know, international shipping and all that. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to run some sort of UK app sheet developer secret Santa, by all means, I'd love that'd be I'd, I'd love to hear about that. That'd be great to hear. Um, but anyways, that's this main sample app that I've got that I put out the you know, trying to stick into the spirit and all that. So this is the app where you can go and sign up for this year's app sheet community secret Santa. Um, so here you go. This is the one that I'm actually running for this year. You can see, right? So if you go over here, you can add your, I, you can add your details in and be good to go. Um, if you'll notice you try and go up into settings, there's nothing that you can do on this one because this is the one that I'm running. And what I've done is I just went inside here to the setting and said, don't show the, uh, the thing where people can change between participant and whatever. I just hid that. So you can't change any of the settings for the thing that I'm running. Happy days. I've wanted to do this for a few years now. And the, it was just a matter of logistics. Do you know what I mean? And that's when I came up with the idea for the app. I'm like, yeah, well, app sheet, you know, we can make an app for the logistics. It would just be, and we're done. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> so get on over there, sign up, join in the fun, good times. All right, that's all I've got for this section. Let's move on to the questions. <laughs> 